week we are reading The Cat from Hunger Mountain. Once on Hunger Mountain, there lived a wealthy lord who had everything imaginable, yet never had enough. The strongest worker built him the tallest pagoda. He lived there, high above everyone. He made his clothing from his Hunters gifted him with rare meat, and skilled chefs prepared lavish meals with rice from the Lord's own fields. When Lord Cat's servants asked if the master finished his meal, they were scolded. Are you blind? Can't you see that the bowl is half empty? Take it away! by servants. More servants would then wash the rice grains in the rapid water of the great river. Lord Cat stood watch from his pagoda and yelled faster there this is more rice to harvest. Continue in this fashion until the land was struck by drought turned into month and month into a year without rain. The farmers cropped all fields, even the Lord's own rice field. Burgess grew hungry with his help wealth. However, Lord Cat continued his lavish ways. The famine persisted a second year without food. The villagers all left the mountain and moved to the city where life was easier. Of the Lord gets great help was useless. There was no one left to build the build tall pagodas or or ways. Elegant clothing. There were, were no meat or rice to cook and no one to prepare him. Still he refused to leave what would life be without a uh, all of his all. Find this story in which love to be found, Lord Cat built his mountain home and went begging to all corners of his land. Land. Yet no one was there to help, so he wa he so he wanted all mile after a mile. So the two beggars dragged himself, warming themselves by a fire. Then they told him of the coming month and a mighty temple near the he gave free food to the hungry. He offered the show him wow. They left early the next morning on arrival. It's a huge line of hungry souls like all waiting to be fed. Love cats and family came among scoop the spoonful of steaming rice into a fold, filling it halfway. It was the fullest bowl of rice you could ever remember ever having eaten. I must ask you, he said the monk, how have you managed to come across such a fine grain in such difficult times? The monk here a sigh and said, I am so fortunate to live at the bottom of Hunger Mountain, where for years a rich lord would wash his rice carelessly in the great river. The wasted grace trickled down to my stream where I collected and stored them over the years. Now I have more than I could eat in a thousand days, so I'm happy to share it all with you. Looked 
had the now empty ball in his hands, he realised he had, had been fed with his own wasted food, and for the first time ever, he knew what it felt like to be truly blessed.